Morning, welcome to Out and About with Rob. This will probably be the last video I do by that name. And I'm gonna uh, have a cookout in a minute, something to eat. And uh, I'll tell you what the name of the uh, channel's gonna be from now on. Um, but what I'm gonna do while I'm here, because I like the idea of doing some stealth camping. If you remember, I did the video with me Miltech Recom. And I was quite surprised that I actually fit inside it, being six foot five and all. But also, to um, add to the stealthiness, I've got a camo net here, this old camo net. I've had it a few years, but I've never really used it. So, I've only ever actually got it out of this bag once, and that damage to the bag was caused on that very first time. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it up and have a coffee and a bit of uh, all day breakfast underneath my camo net so let's give it a go all right so what i'm gonna do I'm just gonna tie up a line just hang it over it in an a, a shape nothing too flash i've got some cordage and i've got some pegs there so i'll, make it, I'll probably be able to pin it down so yeah that's the plan i'll just do a quick event hitch around this tree here find a decent stick On this side, I'm going to do a, a trucker's hitch. Hopefully all will be well with that. I find if you put it through the loop twice, first one on top, second one on the bottom, and you pull it, it should stay like that. Pull it good and tight. Should do the job. Get this camo net out. I can't remember where I actually bought this from so long ago. But let's give it a go anyway. And I bought a new bag up for this as well because this is crap. This bag is look at it, that's one use. All frayed. Right, here we are. Got it tied up around the middle. Got to find the end of it first. There we go. There we go. Oh, I know it's a big one. I know it's very big and I can't quite remember how big it is. certainly is a big net.
songs in it. I think it'd be plenty big enough to cover up my uh, Miltec tent. Huge. Got a guy line. Just gonna pin it up at the front. Got this old stick. This rotten old stick. Just got a little bowl in there. Do this rusty old tent peg I got. I'll just pin it down at the front. I've pinned it down at the back. Uh, three, just three pegs. That's all I need really. Just for what I want to do, or just just to have a uh, nice coffee in the woods, nice tin of all day breakfast, just to test out me old camo net. See how it goes. So, here I am. Obviously if it was raining, it wouldn't offer much uh, shelter. But as soon as it's not raining, all is good. And what I've got, I'm gonna have a tin of all day breakfast. I've been meaning to have this for ages. Look who I've got landed on me. A Jasper. Now, I've got a thing about wasps. I don't mind bees, but I'm not really keen on wasps at all. Looks like he's stinging me, actually. Fly away, wasp. Look at him. Probably the heat. Or she'd go away. Oh, the wasp flew away in the end. I have to give him a bit of encouragement now. Don't like wasps. I like bees. But I don't like wasps. does boil a lot quicker when you put a lid on it. There you go. Let's turn that off for a time being. Oh, 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 oh. Hot plastic. Hot plastic. It tends to burn. Ooh. I nearly lost that then. Ooh. Burning plastic. Oh, some coffee first, and I'm going to get me all day breakfast going. Oh. Burnt my finger there. Right there. Plastic. Hot plastic. Hot plastic. Look at that. Mm. 
quite like this. Come on it. I wonder if it would actually offer any shelter from the sun. Right. Let's get some uh, beans on. Let's get some breakfast on. Now what I've got, because I know these tins do not have a ring pull. What I brought with me is my um if I can get it out of my pocket, me in the side pocket. Me ranger wood. Me ranger wood. Swiss Army. Because of the very reason it's got a nice tin opener on it. There you go, nice tin opener. So let's get these beans open and uh, get them cooking. I'll bring you down so you can see how to use one of these tin openers because a lot of people, they only know how to use the spinny things. Not many people really know how to use them. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Got to be careful with it though. Because obviously it's different. And to be honest with you, I've been a bit spoiled myself because I've been using one of those twirly things for years. You get out of practice, don't you? My old nan, when she used to use a tin opener like this, could fly around this tin, probably get it open in the same amount of time one of the turny, twirly tin openers would. Just edge it around. Get in there. Probably don't even, don't even have to go all the way to the end. But you've got to be careful because it does leave a very sharp edge. So there you go. Pop a tin opener. Victorinox does the job. All day breakfast. Oh yeah. Lovely. Take that with me. Get the gas on again. There we go. All day breakfast is on. The nosh up is on. Get my spoon out for this. I'm just going to shovel it in. Skin's all crinkled up where I burnt it and the plastic. Sorry to keep moaning about it. Oh yeah, it's doing nicely. Wish I bought a bit of bread now, so I could dip it in the juice. Near a faction hook. breakfast. Let's have a bit of sausage. Oh. Mm. Do love a breakfast in the woods. Let's have some mushrooms and I don't actually know what that is. Mmm. <laughs> 
So, the name of my channel that I'm going to change. Um, you remember me saying last week, a couple of weeks ago, whenever it was, there's too many out and about widths. And uh, so I tried to think of something a bit more unique. And um, I like the idea of roving around the countryside, being a bit of a rover. So that's what I'm going to call the channel from now on. Rob the Rover. Me being Rob and the fact that I like to rove. I did look up the definition of a rover on, um, on the dictionary online. And it just, and it just, just say someone who likes to wander. And then the uh, example they used was they became rovers and, and uh, what was it? I want to get it right. They became rovers and went far, came further and further away from civilization. And I like that. Roving away, getting further and further from civilization. I always like that whenever I go out and about or whenever I rove, shall I say. I always like to, as, you know, see as little, little people as possible. Not little people. See little of people. <laughs> because everyone's little to me. So yeah, from now on, I shall be Rob the Rover. Because I will be roving the countryside. withdrawing further and further from civilization. That's good, isn't it? Oh, this is good too. Starving, I was. I like this, mate. Have a look up. It's quite cool, isn't it? Hmm? So what I was going to do, when I get me, um, when I want to do the stealth camping, I was going to set my Miltet um, rom-com tent up. And that's a pretty good camo anyway, because it's a uh, flecked arm. But I was just going to drape this over the top of it. So, uh, you know, especially when there's proper summer months are here, it should be even better. You know, because everything's really green. And it's plenty big enough. I mean, look, I'll swing you around that way. It goes that way goes that way up here and over the back of me I don't know I can't even remember how big it is and I can't even remember where I got it from to be honest with you I know obviously online but I just don't think it was Amazon I'm pretty sure it wasn't Amazon because I've had a look and I can't find you know in me um, purchase history going back a few years and I can't see you know, I went back six years and I, it wasn't there, so God knows where I got it from. But yeah, Rob the Rover, that will be me. So this will probably be my last out and about with Rob titled video. Just thought I'd let you know, thought I'd come to the woods, test me camo net out. Have an all day breakfast, cup of coffee, Irish latte. It's really good, I love it here. There's a road over there. Obviously I'm on my roundabout, my magic roundabout. <laughs> but it's not magic, is it? It's magic to me, because I love it. It's a magical place. So, I'm just going to finish up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that really hit the spot. Mm.
Mm. I did bring a plate with me, but I need it out of the pan. That's what I was saying. I'm going to sit here, drink me coffee, then I'll get out and walk around this camo net, see what it looks like from a distance. Back to you soon. I know I harp on about it, but that burn, and these, these cans get really cold, don't they, when you use them? It's quite soothing. Nice. So there you go, that's it from the front. Really long. It's got to be uh, three or four meters long. Maybe two, three meters wide. I don't know. Something like that. Let's walk around it. good isn't it it's not too bad especially in the summer months that'd be great in the summer let's have a look through the trees there you go let's, have a look. let's go over here can you see it I think it looks pretty good through green And if it's just covering up her tent, you know, it'd be quite low to the ground anyway. It'd probably just look like some bushes. I think it's very good, actually. And I think I only paid peanuts for it, really. Didn't pay a lot of money at all. Yeah, it's good. Pretty good from this angle. Very good actually. Yeah, I don't think I paid more than 15 quid for that. But I can't for the life of me remember where from. So, yeah. In combination with the Miltech Recon Flactarn, that's gonna be pretty damn good. Right, now comes the task of packing it all the way. I've actually brought another bag with me because the other one it was in was so bad. Yeah, okay, let's put it away. I'm going to keep it in this bag from now on. One of the many bags I have laying around. Obviously. 
be. I'll try and stack it all in there. Together. Okay. And what I love about a trucker hitch is it's just where it's double tied, double knotted. If you pull it this way, it break it uh, sort of unclamps itself. You should hear a click. Yeah, see. And it's done. I know not a lot of people tie it. I have it going through that loop twice. If you have it go through the loop twice, it sort of locks on itself, which is really good. And of course the good old E-Vink hitch. Take out the bit of wood. Pull on that, it's done. There we go. Ray Mears taught me that. Ray Mears taught me that not good old Ray. So there you go, all packed up. This is where I was. Going right across there. From this tree to that tree there. Where are we? There. I do love it in the woods. I do love to rove around and be in the Rob the Rover, as I shall now be known. So just remember that, Rob the Rover. If you like the videos, give it a little like. Give the channel a subscribe, it'd be nice. It would be good. Could do with a few more subscribers. <laughs> And a few more comments. I'd like people's comments as well. You know, maybe put me right. I was absolutely chuffed to bits last week when um, Wiltshire Man, he's so good. I love Wiltshire Man. And uh, he commented on my um, my video about the Miltech because I remember his, he did a review of one and he said his one was going to end up in a landfill. <laughs> And I actually asked him if it did end up in a landfill, and he did. He said it did, yeah. But uh, so I took his advice on board because he said the poles are very fragile because they're fiberglass poles in there, and you can't get replacements for them. So um, I took on board what Wiltshire Man said, and I was very careful with it. I've set it up a couple of times since just to make sure I know what I'm doing with it. And uh, yeah, I was chuffed a bit when Wiltshire Man because he's my. He's my um, YouTube hero, really. <laughs> out and about hero. And um, also Jim Holden. It's good to see him out and about again. I think he said uh, 10 months was the last time he made a video. So yeah, I can see where he's coming from because uh, during the first lockdown, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't make any videos. I didn't, I think it was th I went three months, three or four months without making a video. And uh, yeah, I'm still chuffed a bit that Wilson man answered me. Thanks, Sandy. Here's to you, mate, and to Jim. <sighs> right, I think it's time to hit the road. Just gonna walk around, wander around with me. And now I'll turn the camera around so you can have a look. You don't always look at me, do you? Go. Let's have a look around. Surrounded by roads here. That's why I call it the Magic Roundabout. Just like a little oasis in the middle. But from what I gather, not a lot of people come in here because there's no pathways around it. Absolutely love it. I'm just going to go down back to the car. Got everything. Yeah, that's where I was over there. Happy 
everything's packed away. And uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, roving around, being a rover, wandering, wandering the countryside. So don't forget, no more out and about after today. It will be Rob the Rover. And I've actually checked, there's no one else called that on YouTube. No other Rob the Rovers. Plenty of uh, out and about withs. But no Rob the Rovers. Quite like it. Okay then. Thanks for watching. See you next time. When we're roving about. Wherever it may be. Bye.